There are people who think of tarot cards as dealing with ghosts and ghoulies, witches, dark art, conjuring up the devil and being against goodness. It's none of those things. Some people say you'll burn in hell if you do tarot because it says in the Bible to stay away from it. No, it doesn't. Anybody different from what society deems to be normal used to be called a witch. If you don't wish to know about tarot, then scroll on by without disrespecting yourself by leaving negative comments. Many people find positivity, comfort, healing and uplifting messages through tarot. It brings something helpful and good into the world. And if this isn't for you, then respect will be given to you as you leave whilst giving respect in return. Do dark arts exist? Yes, they do. But like everything else, you can use tarot for good or for the opposite. Modern day witches, if you wish to use the word, are in fact healers and always have been. In many cultures around the world, they're known as shamans or curanderos. They've always been the healers in their community and use natural herbs, crystals, incense and flowers, amongst other natural things, whilst working. It's a far cry from flying around on a broomstick, as we've been led to believe in today's modern society. It's also a far cry from the booths at seaside resorts in the UK, where the myth and the message is, you'll meet a tall, dark, handsome stranger. Well, sometimes you might. But having a tarot reading is really about therapy. Tarot card readers are the modern day therapists. They listen, they advise, and with the messages that come through the cards, they heal. Can the cards give predictions? Yes, they can. Sometimes a series of events needs to happen first, so timing can't always be given accurately, but sometimes it can. In general readings, you can usually find a positive direct message that speaks to you personally, but if you don't, then just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. As with everything, it's about free will and choices. If tarot readers take money, then they are fake and will lose their gift. No, not true. If they use their gift to hurt others, then yes, the gift will be taken away and this is understood. Like every other talent or craft, readers have sometimes spent years developing their gift learning about the cards and familiarising themselves with the feel and vibration of new decks. Sometimes the gift is passed down through generations in families of healers. Like everyone else, they have bills to pay and families to feed, so it goes without saying that they should be compensated for their time and their efforts. Tarot card readers only tell you what you want to hear. No, they don't but there might be the odd occasion when they might, because they know that will raise your spirits and make you feel better, just like unloading your problems to a therapist, especially if they see or feel someone that might be feeling very low. If you're curious about tarot readings, then there are some great readers here on YouTube, and many of them give private readings too. Some shoot straight from the hip and they don't hold back. Sometimes that can feel uncomfortable, but that is the message resonating, something that spirit insists that's heard. It feels very real and there's nothing fake about it. Other readers are gentle, soothing and calming. Some work with the zodiac signs, some work with spiritual places, some with the seasons and timings of the moon, and some have been therapists in former careers. Throughout my healing journey on YouTube, it gives me great pleasure to recommend these channels in no particular order who have done so much to keep me strong and raise my spirits when it's been needed. And I would like to pay the love back to all these amazing souls. It costs nothing to subscribe to their channels and give them a like. So please see the list below. If you can contribute financially or buy some of their merchandise to help them keep doing what they do, and keep spreading their positive energy and messages, then please do so. Let's spread the love around. There's no better timing than the present.